Oh yeah, it's me, Tana. I'm back again, if you're new to my channel. Welcome, if you're somebody who's been here before and come back, welcome to you and thank you for coming back. Today, it's a charity shop haul and a try on. I haven't done one for ages. I don't know why, because, um, why haven't I mean? Because I've got that many clothes that I still keep buying that I said I wouldn't. And uh, I've discovered vintage as well. I think you've seen a video of my vintage dresses. I'm wearing one now. This was brand new with tags, a warehouse dress. I think it come to about um, £7 altogether. It's got a belt that I can't figure out how to keep. Um, how to keep in the loop, but do you think it's falling out? So um, I keep buying loads of stuff off vintage, but I've stopped that for a couple of weeks now. I haven't bought nothing. So, um, yeah, I need to... I need to just stop buying clothes because I'm buying clothes and not even wearing half of them and living in the same outfits. But today I've got, I'll show you four tops that I've got. I've steamed them because I've been in a bag for ages because everything's so cheap. But so if you've never been to a charity shop before, just go. You don't know what you're missing. There's some cracking bargains. It's all, the other day I went and I just seen loads of stuff that was brand new. We taxed and I'm like, no, leave it leave it leave it you don't need it just leave it so yesterday i went i need to the items i got yeah yesterday i got two items which i've got here to show you but obviously i've got bags of items of clothing that are in this cupboard here and still in the loft because that wardrobe needs a good sorting again I, I just can't motivate myself you know when you just cannot motivate yourself to do stuff that's me I wish somebody would just come in and say, look, just get rid. I need Stacey Solomon to come in with her cronies and just get rid of all my stuff. Because it desperately needs doing. So, uh, yeah. So this is, like I said, my vintage dress. I think it come to about £7 with postage and everything. I've discovered with vintage, maybe it's me, I don't know. I've been just buying stuff brand new with tags because the item that one item that maybe it's, it does all, you know just one bad apple in there there's always the one the one item that I bought a denim dress that they described as as new <laughs> me little air quotes um it was fit for the bin I was really I didn't even bother leaving them feedback or bother with anything I just just got rid of it I just give it to the charity shop as a rag sort of thing when I took my last lot because I thought some people's idea of as new is different to my idea as new so uh it was it i think it had just been overwashed and the color had all faded and it was tat but then i just thought that brand new with tags it's brand new with tags in it if it doesn't fit me that's that's on me in it <laughs> like you know but when something's misdescribed i was a bit pissed off actually <laughs> you know but i just thought there's there's always one person who yeah, it's just one of them, and you get it everywhere. You get it on Facebook, eBay, Vinted. I'm trying to think of the other ones where people, people got different ideas of what's good and bad, haven't they? So I'll get the stuff and I'll show you. Like there's four tops. I have steamed, and the one's still a bit oh, dampy looking where I steamed it. So I'm going to get the hairdryer on it to try and make it look a bit better because at the moment it's got loads of blotches on. I tried to curl my hair. I've just started to do a video, so um, if you see me in this outfit again, I've just started to do a video on a catheter ablation for SVT, <laughs> which is that, which you'll see shortly, which is basically heart palpitations, which is what I have, and hopefully I should be having this procedure done. So I'm going to do a video about it because some people probably don't know about it because I know I didn't know about it. So anyway, I'll get them clothes sorted. Hang on. This top, ah, oh, looks blue. Looks blue on the bloody screen, but it's emerald green. What is it? Can you see the green? I was only, it's looking blue there, but it, honestly, it looks like a teal colour there, but it's green. Look, coast. So this would have been really expensive, I reckon, brand new. I paid £4.50 from Acorns in Worcestershire. Worcester? It's quite long. Look. Long sleeves, my favourite. I'm going to try it tucked in and hanging out. Got a button at the back, look. Um, I like it. 
Well, it's really nice. That's a lot for me, isn't it? Four fifty. <laughs> yeah. I just really liked it there, so I thought it was worth splashing out. <laughs> I'll try it on. This top definitely looks teal colour in the screen, but it is green. I think it's quite nice. It's alright, isn't it? Maybe not so much with um, my burgundy cords, but <laughs> I do like it. I don't know whether to wear it with black or, or what. Maybe not trousers. I wonder if it'll look, what it looks like um, tucked in to the tuck in. Yeah. It looks better tucked in with these trousers. <laughs> Hang on. Yeah, these trousers aren't right, are they? But I'd love this top. <laughs> Try and make it look a bit neater. Hang on. Yeah. yeah. I do like it. I think I think they need black trousers, don't they? But it's um thumbs up. I like it. <laughs> I do. This is like like a sweatshirt. It's really soft. But look. It sometimes looks a bit like tie-dye, but it's not it's like velvety material look. Really, really like it from the white stuff. I've never ever bought anything from the white stuff. Mind you, I've never bought anything from, from Coast either. I'd buy everything from the charity shop, but I think the white stuff is expensive shop, isn't it? And this was from Acorns in Worcester. Wow, look at that for me again. Five pounds. <laughs> I liked it though. Sometimes I'm prepared to shell out a bit more on that old stuff. I was like, for five pounds, some people who spend like 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 quid on a top. Well, one, I think you're mental, and <laughs> two, I'm like, well, well, it's your money, spend what you want with it, but I, that would grieve me. I'd have to really, really, really like something to spend that much. I think I'd probably spend that much on a coat if I really liked it, but. I can't imagine ever spending that sort of money but if you've got the money you might as well spend it because you can't take it with you can you so anyway it's grey I said it's shimmery do you like the shimmeries and I really liked it and I thought that'd be nice for jeans so uh, I'll try it on I thought this top would be a bit baggier it's not tight tight but it's not as loose as I thought it would be I still like it and I am going to wear it. Shiny. It's alright. I've never had anything from white stuff before, have I? I don't think I have. I've never bought anything from the actual shop and I don't remember buying anything from the charity shop that's white stuff. I quite like it. Yeah, this is another um, thumbs up. A pink jumper, right, with buttons on the sleeve right and this was £3.25 from Headway in Rubri but right would this be classed as vintage look British home stores is that vintage vintage not vintage vintage so yeah vintage is old I don't know if it'd be classed as old but it looks in really good condition practically new I seriously doubt it's going to look this good when once it's come out of our washing machine, but I'll try it on. I think it might be a bit small actually because it it looks a bit snuggy. So um, fingers crossed it fits. I'm not sure about this. It looks a bit small. I don't know. Hang on. Get rid of the uh, tissue in my pockets. Might look a bit neater. Don't know. Mm. I, I don't know about this one. What do you think? <laughs> no, I, I think this one's a no. 
a black top because I've hardly got any black tops so I thought you know one more <laughs> from Asda as the George three pounds that again was that from Birmingham Hospice where was that in I think that might have been in West Heath West Heath I got that from so it's quite a long one look it's one of them short at the front baggy at the back cover your bum top so if you're wearing leggings this will be perfect but I, I don't wear leggings because I'm not comfortable wearing them but I do wear them under my trousers sometimes keep my legs warm but on their own I'm not confident wearing leggings because it feels like you're wearing tights so uh, I'll try this on that's it v-neck this is my standard go-to top in it long sleeve v-neck long limb cover your bum sort <laughs> it see if it fits it should do because it, it's quite baggy isn't it it's all right it's a little bit low there <laughs> i might have to wear a top underneath but this is my normal top in it my normal style that i like so let's tuck it in and see if it looks all right in because it, it's quite long isn't it i'm gonna hang on <laughs> pull a bit out Um, yeah, it's all right now. Just gonna keep that like that. That's better. I think it's a thumbs up. Is it? Do you like it? Is it? Oh, that's not very flattering, is it? <laughs> oh, that's not a good look. I'm, I'm not happy about that. It's all my hole. I'm not happy about the pink one. It it seems a bit too too fitted. I don't know if that's a word. Too small. I think I'm kidding myself thinking I could fit into that. But then again, I think well, if you're wearing it and you've got a coat on top and it's cold, who's going to see it? They'll only see the pink bit there. I like this top. Don't think I'll wear it with these cords because the um this situation is not very flat. <laughs> to wear my magic pants i haven't got them on i haven't worn them for a while because i find you wear them and they start to slide down and then you've got a roll roll of like pants so i haven't worn for a while but maybe because i buy cheap ones i should get some marxies really should now buy some proper ones <laughs> so thank you all for watching if you want to give this video a thumbs up that'd be brilliant you are all awesome if you want to follow me on instagram it's donna the brummie okay thank you bye